Hey YouTube, it's your girl True Series 1111 coming at you with another love reading. This one starting off with the song, oh, I wish I never met you, so I don't know how this love reading is going to end up. <laughs> okay. But, um, I'm going to let Spirit pick the signs, alright? When y'all first got together, y'all y'all were best friends. Y'all thought y'all was spending lifetime together. All right, spirit. Ooh, she said you were an effing clown and she wish she never met you. All right, spirit. Who the reading going to be about, spirit? What time we going to do a love reading on a day, spirit? What sign is he going to this? What messages and um you have in love for this mess? Alright, thanks. Should have moon rising in your chart. Alright. Element water. We gotta keep shuffling away from earth elements. Mm -hmm. What sign are we gonna do a reading for? What's the sign we gonna do a reading for? Mm -hmm. What would you do if you was in my shoes? All right. So this reading is going to be for Pisces, all right? Pisces could be your um and your moon placement in your chart. Um, Pisces with the moon rising, all right? If you know your birth chart. All right, so the first message is recognition and reward, all right? But it's in a reverse, okay? Pisces. Triumph. In a reverse. Oh, Lord. Deception and envy, all right? This is a way to start off a love reading. Oh, my goodness. Material and spiritual prosperity in a reverse. What kind of love reading is this? All right, so, but eventually it's going to end up in rejoicing celebration, all right? Emotionally withdrawn, all right? Jeez. This also could be a third-party situation. Huh. Did you cheat on somebody, Virgo? I mean, on Pisces? I'm sorry. Pisces. It's a Pisces reason. I love all right. I don't even know where to start with this. We're going to start with the tarot, all right? All right, Spirit. What messages do you have for this love reading for the Pisces, Spirit? What's this recognition and reward and reward, Spirit? Recognition and reward and reward. Recognition and reward and reward for a love reading for Pisces. Thank you. Oh shit, Pisces. <laughs> okay. So with the recognition and reward and reverse, all right, good luck. Life cycles up and down, destiny, karma, transition, movement, progression, travel, turning point, opportunity, change. All right, Pisces. So you have good luck. It could be changing an opportunity, all right? And you have the Ace of Wands, all right? And this will of course, and this is faded. It's destiny, all right? Faded to happen. So, artistic inspiration and creativity, new cycle and enterprise, will and determination, expanding your potential. All right? 
Hi, sis. Okay. Here, what's this triangle thing reverse? Alright, so you're dealing with a Queen of Cups in the reverse. Alright, she's a moody person. Fake romance, Pisces. Alright, they're unsure, a lot. They're dark. Alright. Or this could be you, Pisces. You could be the Queen of Cups in the reverse. Alright. So we have the Chariot in reverse. When it's in the reverse, it's insecure, lack of control, lack of direction. And lack of aggression, all right? You're inconsiderate. You're being inconsiderate. Or this Queen of Cups is being inconsiderate in love. Eight of Swords in the reverse, all right? You're open to a new perspective. You want release and freedom. You know the way forward now, all right? When it's upright, that means you're stuck in your head. Mental, you're stuck in a mental prison. But you know the way forward now, all right? Pisces or... That cross watcher, whatever. What's deception and envy spirit? And the pair of Pisces love reading. Thank you. We're going to fail that. Give me a second. Alright. We got the Four of Pentacles. Financial control, stability, holding on, possessive, neither making nor losing money. You're being mean and stingy. You're withholding money, right? I see you're withholding money, or this Queen of Cups is withholding money. Take it as it resonates. Uh, rules can be rewarded. Jeez. <laughs> so we got the Ten of Pentacles in reverse, all right? Financial failure, loneliness, family disconnected, decreased fortune, poor investment. So, Pisces, you made a poor investment. All right. Or, this Queen of Cups made a poor investment. Take it as it resonates, all right? Take it as it resonates. Spirit, what's this rejection and celebration? Rejoice and celebration. Thank you, sir. Alright, so we got a queen of wands in the reverse. This is a jealous person. Aggressive, vengeful. Alright, someone sabotages shit. Alright. They're judgmental and controlling and they're demanding. Alright. So, you got the queen of wands and you got the queen of cups. So, Pisces, are you cheating on someone? Alright. Remember I said this could be a third party situation as well. Yeah. So this Pisces, the Queen of Cups, and the Queen of Wands. Alright. Spirit, why are they emotionally withdrawn? Thank you. Alright, you're emotionally withdrawn because of judgment. Alright. It's in a reverse though. Self-doubt, indecisive. You refuse to examine. Refuse to face reality. And you're in, unable to resolve problems, alright? That's why you're emotionally withdrawn. Six of Wands. Public recognition, victory, winning, significant battle, progress, achievement, praise, rewards, gifts, and good news, alright? So, Pisces, it sounds like you gotta choose. You gotta make a decision, alright? If you don't make a decision, you're gonna lose money, alright? You're gonna be poor. Okay. Your fortune is gonna go down. It could be a victory in the end, but you're, but you're emotionally closed off, alright? Let go of financial control, all right? 
It says you're mean and stingy. You're going to lose money if you stay mean and stingy, all right? I don't know what kind of love is this. So you have two queens out here. All right. And they're both in a reverse. They both are pissed off, all right? One is emotionally blocked, and the other one is just vengeful and, and aggressive, okay? And until you make a decision, this material and spiritual prosperity is going to stay in the reverse. You're not going to get material and spiritual prosperity, right? Sheesh. Huh. So much for a love reading. This is not a love reading. All right, I don't even know how to clarify this. Let's get some of these. No, you know what? Let's get the Kipper deck. I'm going to use the Kipper deck on this one. Okay, let's clarify some of these cards. Clarify some of these cards. Right, Why is the Ace of Wands build a portion over top of prosperity? I mean, recognition and reward spirit. What's the Ace of Wands and the Will of Fortune spirit? Ace of Wands and Will of Fortune spirit. Ace of Wands and Will of Fortune spirit, please. Over top of rewards and recognition. So you turned your back on someone because of money? You can't go to somebody talking about money? Thank you. All right, so it says message. But it's in a reverse, all right? Are you trying to get a message to someone? But are you blocked or is in a reverse? So you're not going to be able to get the message to someone? Or you're having problems getting a message to someone, Pisces? Queen of Cups, Eight of Swords, and a Cherry in Reverse Spirit. He said, Stop asking me where niggas is at. So you, are you looking for someone? Trying to get a message for someone. Fair, what's, what's the Eight of Swords, Queen of Cups, and the Sherry in reverse, please? All right, marriage. But it's in a reverse, right? Are you married and you got caught cheating? Um, Pisces? A marriage and a reverse, all right? Thank you, Holy Spirit. What's this financial control spirit over oh, this envy and this deceit? Spirit, what's the four pentacles? Thank you. All right, so it says mature woman in the reverse, okay? So Queen of Cups or the Pisces, one of you guys is being immature, all right? Because of financial control, all right? You're being stingy or withholding something from someone. 14, 14 on the clock as I said that. Um, so you might want to Google the number 14, 14 angel number. It might be a message in there for you, all right? Here, let's just turn the pinnacles in reverse over so top of them. Spiritual and material prosperity in reverse. So let's just turn the pinnacles in a reverse, please. Thank you. Oh, shit. Y'all stole something from someone? I just love reading this like this. <laughs> it's 
love reading in turn. Left like a motherfucker. But oh well. Um, Pisces, you stole something from someone or this immature woman that you're married to? Y'all stole someone's pinnacles? Right. Spirit, what's this queen of wands? This very um, this vengeful and aggressive woman. Right. Someone is going to get set on well. All right. Right. Spirit, what's this victory? The six of wands over emotionally recount. What's this victory, Spirit? What's this victory, Spirit? Victory, Spirit. Thank you, sir. So we have privileged lady in a reverse, right? Did y'all steal money from a privileged lady? Hmm. This privileged lady is going to have sudden wealth and she's going to be victorious in a situation. All right. I don't know how this love reading is, is definite. Right. So what I get from this Whatever y'all stole, y'all need to give it back. And then your, your luck will change. All right? You will, you'll have the will of fortune. All right? Yeah. Whatever y'all took, y'all need to give it back. That's what I'm getting from this reading. This is dealing with a Pisces. You have a Pisces rising. Moon. Moon rising. In your chart. Yeah, so Pisces, whatever you've taken, you or this Queen of Cups or this Queen of Wands, you need to give it back to this privileged lady. What's at the bottom? Yeah, wealthy man. All right. So, wealthy man is going to face poverty because y'all stole someone's money. It's a mature man involved, all right? And we have a house. Did you take someone's house? All right. Sheesh, y'all. All right. So let's get some messages out of my personal bit. Spare, what are some advice or some messages you could give this Pisces in this situation? Is a few things in your past that should not be explained? You asking? You asking someone to be with them for a little while? Please hush, no questions asked. So you are you trying to come back into some of this privileged lady life and don't want her to ask any questions? That's what it sounds like. All right, Spirit. What are some messages we can close out with for this Pisces and this, these queens in here? Thank you. All right. Someone is divinely guided in this situation. All right. But it's time to level up. All right. And give thanks to the Lord. Okay. So, the privileged lady, I'm assuming, just let them hate. All right. And take your power back from them, all right? Whoever whoever had property and money stolen from them, take your power back. Okay. You need to get up, move, and dance, all right, privileged lady? Because God loves you, privileged lady, all right? Privileged lady, remember who you are, 
Okay. Take your power back. Stand in your power. And privileged lady, God says the battle is not yours, it's the Lord's. All right. Just keep praying. All right. Keep your faith, okay? Because God has a plan for you. Whoever had money taken from them and possibly a property, God has a plan for you, all right? Sheesh, this, this was supposed to be a love reading. <laughs> let, me, let me get one more message for you guys. Sarah, what message do you have for this Pisces and these two queens that stole someone's stuff? Thank you. All right, Pisces and you two queens that are thieves. It says, when you pass from this world, you take nothing with you but your soul and the memories you have shared with those you love, all right? So if you didn't share good memories with those you love, that's all you take with you are bad memories, all right, when you pass from this world. You don't take money. You don't take property. You don't take none of that stuff with you, all right? You only take the memories with those you love, all right? All right, guys, that's what I have for you on this Pisces love reading. Um, sheesh. So, you guys, I guess you need to stop being jealous, get out your feelings, and, and give back what you guys took, all right? Took from this person, okay? And ask them for forgiveness, all right? And pray and ask God for forgiveness, all right? Pisces and whoever these two women are you dealing with, okay? Um, I wish y'all the best. Nothing but peace, love, and light. Remember, God loves you and so do I, all right?